and welcome back everybody to the second video in a hopefully a long series regarding these very interesting Max 7219 matrix displays. Now in the first video we got the display connected and I explained to you the pins you need to connect and the hardware types that you can get so please if you're struggling to connect and get in sensible text to appear on your matrix screens go and see video number one and th that will tell you about this line here and what you need to put in 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 this part here there's four different types of hardware on the market so what are we going to show you in this video well in this video you can already see it streaming at the top there it's all the text effects that are easily uh, available to you in this fantastic parole library so I'm just going to run through this code and while I'm talking over the code you can see it scrolling on the screen so what we have to do we have to make sure we got the libraries installed now again go and watch video number one and that will tell you how to install the library it's very easy just a standard library secondly make sure you get the hardware type selected correctly and in this video, I've got 12 uh, matrices in an array. So that's why I've got 12. And I'm using these standard SPI pin connections for my Wemos D1 Mini. Now, as in the first video, we create this uh, name called P. And we use that throughout the, um, the video. Again, you can call this anything you like. And that's explained again in video number one. So, in this uh, link here, it will take you to the Parola GitHub page where you can find lots of information. I've tried to put as many comments in as I can to make it easy to show you how easy it is to uh, make these effects work. So, <clears throat> we're making a structure here of the items or the elements that the uh, library is looking for and I've tried to keep the naming convention the same as in the documentation so if we went to this web page if my computer ever loads when you scroll down do 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 find it you can see here p text align effect speed in um, you can see uh, that's text zones hold on so you can see that I'm, I'm keeping it the same. So when you're reading this documentation, looking at the code, it will marry up with one another. Um, so that's setting up uh, an array, well, later on in the code, an array where we're going to be storing the information to display on the matrix. So this next lot from 42 downwards is purely just to get a sprite on the page. Now, I don't mean that in a, a negative way. It seems, you know, a few lines of code and you've got something running across the screen. So this is just setting up that information. And when it appears on, your, in, on, the, on the matrix, you'll understand why. So this means we've got two frames. So we've got two lines of data and the width of the data, there's 10 uh, lots of numbers now these can be decimal numbers or hex values but again another video will be coming out very shortly to show you how this all works and how you make these numbers to make the graphics you want to appear on the screen so um, you'll, you'll see that as it appears on the screen um, so that's the end of that and now we are making uh, what I call like a, an array list of the effects that we want to show on the screen so again if you go to the the github page these are all the effects here listed on the left that you can get and I've put them in the same order as they appear on the web page so as you're seeing the effects appear on the screen I'm using the same effect Oh, as the in and the out so you've got something scrolling in say from the left it scrolls out to the left it prints this on the screen this is the time it takes to do the effect it pauses for three and we're saying we want to center it in the matrix so if you just read down there when you when you see it it's all self-explanatory and on the text that appears on the matrix I have shortened some of them so I've taken out the PA in front here 
because sometimes even with a 12 wide matrix it doesn't fit on the screen so you can see um, this is the sprite one so this here is looking at this information up here and also down here this is the one line of code in the setup that it looks at uh, to print the little ghosts going across the page so um, although I've shown the same input or in effect and out effect you can mix and match these so you don't have to have the same so you can have you know scroll up here scroll down there that's the text and then you, here you've got a choice of three PA left PA center or PA right and somewhere up here I tried to tell you here that that's a choice you've got um, all very easy once you actually loaded the code got it running and you're pleased with what you've got on the screen as we go down here I'm just asking you to like share and subscribe and this is just showing you a way that you can make the items blink and it's just you're printing very quickly and delete it from the screen and then I'm telling you here what you're going to be seeing in the upcoming videos and uh, yeah I've got many of these videos planned and once we finish with this matrix we're going to move on to some very big matrices <laughs> so um, it's all all coming to a head but we've got to start slowly at the beginning so um, those of you who haven't seen video number one make sure you set this to a low number I've set it for five in the video and I'm now going to change that back to two and save that while I remember um, I had to put it up to two to, to, to get the contrast and make sure it would film good or good on the uh, the video um, what else can I tell so that was the line that gets the sprite running across the page this is reading this information up here and then this information I've put in a logical order so this is the in effect, out effects, the text, the time it takes to do the effect, the delay and the justification because that seemed a logical order of you know that's how you want it to appear on the screen but when we put the data into the like the Parola library uh, I put it here, th these two lines, if you go onto this uh, link here and this page you have to put the text first then the alignment, then the speed, then the pause, then the effects in and then the effect out and I just felt it was easier to do it the other way so that's just reading from this this uh, array up here and putting it in the the right order this I number is it reads down here one at a time and then <clears throat> it will display it on the on the on the matrix so yeah all very easy but we have to start with the basics before we get on to the interesting stuff as in the lot here that you know I'm going to be making custom fonts custom sprites I've got a world time clock which goes on the uh, this 12 way matrix I've got a four-way matrix custom enclosure display type matrix in the offing I've got the 3d parts printed I've just got to assemble it uh, do a little bit of soldering and that'll be another video coming out very quickly just because it's a way of making your matrices look more professional than just you know a four-way matrix laying on the desk um, Bluetooth enabled matrix coming up so we can plug it into the mains, link to your phone and change the text on the, the matrix. Um, yeah, all very good. So please do uh, like, share and subscribe. I'm after two new subscribers on this video, please. I'm on 98 subscribers at the moment and uh, I would love to see who makes the number 100. Uh, it make me really chuffed and uh, it'll inspire me to make some more videos but I've got a lot coming anyway so that's Andy saying let us know how you get on um, if you've got any problems post a comment below if you've got no problems but just enjoying what you're making post a comment below and I will answer them 
and if you've got anything in particular you want to see regarding these matrix again drop me a, a note I'm learning with you I'm no expert but I'm loving what I'm doing and once you get your head around it and you understand how to read the instructions on the github page then you make your own little routine and you play around with it a little bit you understand how it works especially with these um like arrays and then doing the custom stuff once you once you get into this it's real fun and uh, you know in a couple more videos we'll be making custom uh sprites like pac-man the uh, space invader logos or any shape you want it doesn't you're not limited to an 8 by 8 graphic you can go 8 by very wide um, because you've, you've got a wider matrix all right if you've only got a one way matrices you've only got 8 by 8 but if you've got an 8 an 8 by 4 you've got more dots to play with but sometimes you do get stuck with only having 8 high but in a later video we can make a 16 high matrix and learn how to program bigger graphics so we've got a lot coming on we've also got zones we're looking at I did mention zones in the first video and that is where uh, you can have stuff scrolling on the screen or one static zone and one scrolling uh, zone and the scrolling zone won't scroll over the static one so yeah lots to do anyway I'm waffling let us know get something made um, again if you're trying to follow this um, video but you've only got a small matrix you're gonna have to change this number to say to four but then some of these won't fit on the screen because you'll you'll be um, short of data so you can always go down this column here and shorten this down you can make the scroll say SCR underscore DN for down SCR LF for left and they will all fit on um, that's very easy to do you know, a bit of editing down there if you've only got a four-way and this will all fit on because it's scrolling left to right it's only some of this stuff which is not scrolling and it's centered it won't fit on your screens it won't look right anyway that's Andy wishing you a very good afternoon.